Hi, I am Samuel, and in our last video we talked about archaic English linear measurements, and today we're going to be talking about English weight measurements. In the 16th century, there were five systems used to measure weights of goods and commerce. It was tower, troy, mercantile, avatopois weights, and the system of the Hanseatic League. During the Tudor dynasty, strides were made towards refining and regulating various systems. In 1527, King Henry VIII abolished the Tower Pound, and during her reign, Queen Elizabeth I continued to improve the standards and regulations of weights. Now, much of the focus was on identifying the various systems, then regulating their physical standards. For example, the regulation of avoirdupois weights uh, was updated and then distributed throughout England in 1588, and it's actually this 1588 standard for pounds and ounces that are actually continued to be used to this day. Now, by Jamestown's founding in 1607, the five systems used to measure weights were just reduced to two, the Troy Pound and the Avatopois Pound. For both Troy and Avatopois weights, the most basic and smallest unit of measurement was the Troy grain, and it was simply known as a grain. And with the early days of development of these systems of weights, the standard grain was originally tied to the mass of a barleycorn. But through the Tudor reforms of grains, ounces, and pounds, it was regulated eventually by a physical standard and no longer actually tied to the weights of barleycorns. But with the troy grain as the base unit of both systems of measurement, the troy ounce was 480 grains, the avatopois ounce was 437 and a half grains, 12 troy ounces made a troy pound, and 16 avatopois ounces made an avatopois pound. So a troy pound was a total of 5,760 grains, and an avatopois pound was a total of 7,000 grains. In general, avatopois weights became the measure of goods and commerce, from buying and selling foodstuffs to manufacturing goods or even production of stuff like wool, while the troy system of weights became the measure used by apothecaries in the production of medicines, and also became the system of weights for precious metals like silver or gold, plus the system used for regulation of the English monetary system and the minting of coins. I hope you enjoyed this journey through archaic English weights. Actually, I cannot use that because we here in the United States inherited our system of weights and measure from the old English system. And now we know it is called avatopois. Nonetheless, if you liked this video, like, subscribe, and leave us a comment down below. Farewell.